I'm a product of the evolution revolution, a global phenomenon occurring quietly behind the scenes while the death throes of the old paradigm play out on the world stage. In 1994, I left Bozeman heading south along the coast into the unknown. Driving north from Phoenix, <laughs> I heard a voice out loud in my car say, you have a date with destiny. Holy shift. <laughs> I wound up in Sedona with my car on the fritz and $100 in my pocket. Feeling something portentous <laughs> in the air, I planted both feet firmly in my mouth, declaring whatever it takes. Nothing and everything in my previous existence prepared me for what followed, sleeping in my car and living on the street, spending most of my time out on the land, absorbing the energy of the red rocks. The query often posed, why don't you just get a job, couldn't be answered. I knew this was not about getting a job, but a testing and an education, a curriculum, unfortunately, not taught in our schools. I learned that however much there was, there was always enough to share that the food I thought I needed to satisfy my own hunger when divided to provide for another somehow satisfied the needs of both. Perhaps the act of sharing magically intensifies the quality. Or perhaps by sharing, we precipitate love. Lovers, we all know, can live on air. The four years in Sedona provided three notable gifts. First, I began to perceive and photograph the face of love. The love in our hearts that shines out of our eyes and makes us radiant. The second gift came at the end of a recreation ceremony with a shaman. I asked for a heart filled with love, the experience of oneness, and service to the planet. When told I was being given a boon, I heard myself ask for the ability to sing. Soon after, facing the rising sun at a medicine wheel, a voice emerged. I started birthing songs. They bubble up through my body and come out of my mouth. <laughs> the sensations are intoxicating. That boon was given by the third gift, an Indian master. Not exactly thrilled, with his intrusion in my life, I told him he'd have to prove himself to me. After four years on the street, he called me to India. Oh my God. <laughs> After a year of conditioning, like meat is conditioned by beating with a hammer, I was introduced to the evolution revolution the understanding of our oneness percolating through humanity. It percolated through me. One day I was my old self. I never looked like that. <laughs> the next, everything had changed. A filter was removed. I was awake in the dream. Awareness replaced the ego function. Capital A awareness is not about belief or non-belief, neither cognitive nor intellectual. My mind stopped running my life, and I ceased to identify with the persona and her drama. I see humanity as individual cells in a single large body, 
I see that changing the world is not an insurmountable task, but the very simple process of each one choosing to be the light they are, lighting up the body one cell at a time. I head into the unknown every day now and welcome whatever shows up. <laughs> this summer I was in Stockholm without money for a room. After a cold night on that bench, I got this song. I got two legs for walking. I got two eyes for seeing. I got one smile for greeting. What more do I need? I got two arms for hugging. I got two ears for hearing. I got one heart that's cheering. I got everything I need. <laughs> so if you're out of money and you start feeling funny, just remember to be sunny. You'll have everything you need. Yeah. If you're out of money, honey, and you start feeling funny, honey, remember <laughs> to be sunny, honey, you'll have everything you need. <laughs>